This is a response to Sister Sunshine TV and her latest video, An Unwilling Atheist. Sister, um, I've been watching your channel since before I had this channel that I'm going to post this video on. Um, and you, uh, being a good person in my estimation, and, and watching you progress from what you were at one time to what you are now, you seem to, to me to be the person on YouTube that embodies the entire stereotype of religions being a progression from evangelical Christianity to atheism, that there's all these religions in between, and as someone becomes uh, enlightened to the point of atheism, they go through these uh, other religions. You know, you start with the evangelical charismatic Christianity, and then you go to, you know, Christianity light, you know, and then you go to uh, being a Christian but not going to church and saying that uh, I'm a Christian but I'm not religious, you know, and then you start dabbling in paganism and then you go to Buddhism and then, you know, you, you didn't follow a, a linear path like some, but still, it seems like uh, your religious journey of learning about other religions led you to this this point you know in a fashion that a lot of people stereotype atheists as as you know it's it's just one more step you know in in a progression and in your video you said that uh you wish that there were a god that it were that it was true that there was a god because life would be a lot less stressful and uh you were wishing that life would be simpler um okay so you of all people like like myself but you of all people know that you can take certain nuggets of truth from the different religions that you learn about the different philosophies that you learn about along the way and you can you can use that knowledge later right well as an atheist uh about 12 years ago i was in the army and i was forced to read a book on a trip i was uh stationed in fort lewis washington and i was driving to tuelli army depot in salt lake city in order to uh, fix some equipment. And the sergeant that was with me forced me to read a religious book out loud. And this is one of the very awkward moments that I've had in my life where someone in a position of authority has tried to force their religion onto me. Um, the book was called The Final Battle, uh, and it was written by Hal Lindsey. And in it, there was a, an analogy of, uh, let's say, purgatory or hell being like an ocean, and then the first, the next step up from that is like when you're hearing about God, and that's like the beach, you know, and then there there's minor hills, and then there's this big mountain that you start to climb, right? And then at the top, there was, uh, in that analogy, there was a tree of knowledge guarded by swords, but along the way, uh, the person taking this journey from it, w it was like storming the beach uh, of Normandy, like in, in Saving Private Ryan. Like that's what it looked like in my head. You know, I was in a military convoy. But uh, along the way, the guy's getting a little bit up the mountain, and he looks down, and he sees other people. And they are, instead of climbing the mountain, they are helping other people up the mountain. It's like they're stuck in that spot of knowledge of, you know, in this case, the, the analogy was supposed to be the knowledge of Christ. You know, on the way to the tree of knowledge where all the ultimate truth was. These people were at a certain level, and they were helping people up the mountain. And then... The, the, this guy on the mountain could see that some people were helping people out of the water, you know, and they didn't progress at all in their knowledge. 
they were stuck in that spot and all they could do was reach down and and pull somebody out of the water and maybe that person would be stuck at the same spot as them and or maybe they would just pass them up you know and say you know thank you very much for your help but you know I've got to go I got some more knowledge together okay what I'm trying to get across to you here is from the point of view of someone who has long since left that spot where you are at of wishing that there was a God and and hoping that uh, if there was a God there would be this 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 part of life that would be less stressful and coming down the mountain this far to give you this is is a bit of a stretch for me but I'm gonna try it so here goes when I was at that point and I thought about you know whether or not it would be a good thing if God did exist and we could just explain everything away um, with God done did it I found myself after a while um, and, and it was a long while at that spot I found myself thinking that it is awesome that no matter how much knowledge we gain from research and science and, and just introspection all of it put together that no matter how much knowledge we gain as human beings in, in civilization there's always more to it there's always the next question you know and many times we answer one question and we get ten more to answer you know and if there were an end to those questions life would be meaningless you know the pursuit of more knowledge is awesome and it's fulfilling you know and this simpler life that you're wishing for is in effect just flipping a switch in your head and, and saying I don't care to get more knowledge it's you know yeah it's sipping tea on your porch on a Sunday morning watching football and that can be relaxing but there is more fulfillment just past that spot that you're stuck in it's the pursuit of knowledge in the knowledge that the pursuit of knowledge will be something that we're doing forever there's an infinite amount of questions to answer and even when we die there will be more questions that other people will have to answer and hopefully you know when we leave this world we will leave a few people in a better spot than we left them we'll, we we will have helped them up you know and maybe life will get better if not simpler just by virtue of the amount of information that we have been able to acquire in the world I hope that helps you with that that spot you're at um, I'm in a similar spot that at, at least I would name it at, at similar to your uh, video an unwilling atheist um, the spot where I am is uh, it's a point of uh, ichthyism whereby the only reason why I'm an atheist is because uh, I'm going by other people's definitions of, of uh, what atheism is but I don't feel like that big red A you know that out atheist A I feel like that's a, a group of people that are seeing things a lot differently than than even I am and it, it's it's a point where uh, people are just people <laughs> and uh, these labels that that people give each other or give themselves just temporarily uh, they, they really don't matter as much as the pursuit of knowledge does so Hope that helps with uh, what it looks like you're feeling.
and uh, keep up the good work with all these videos because watching your progression, I'm sure, has helped some people.